Limpopo was buzzing. Their favorite son was coming home for a weekend at the Unembeza Boutique Lodge and Spa. After his Jerusalem Summer Europe tour with his brother from another mother, DJ Ngwazi. Nah, it was fantastic. Atmosphere, it's, it's very, very nice. Let's start to view more inside, man. Nah? Yeah. Let's go and find a good one. Yo, 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 yo. This, is, this is something else. Our kitchen and dining is so big. Yo. So now when we're when we eating here, we'll be watching the beautiful the view. view there. When you're enjoying your meal. The view, it's a beautiful the, the view allows, allows everything that you're saying, man. Yeah, this is so amazing. I love art. You know, also in my place, it's full of art. But anyway, let's go and see our rooms. Hey? We'll see more later. Yeah, let's check. Let's check them, man. So this is my bedroom. It's looking comfy. It's looking amazing. Right. So I'm just gonna sit here and look at the view in the morning. Have a drink. Yeah, man. I really needed this. You know, after a long, long tour in Europe for the entire three months, going up and down, traveling. So this is amazing. This is time to refresh my mind so that when I go back, I rock even more, you know. The Zulu sense of being conscious of the natural world around you and your awareness of being part of it. That's the spirit and meaning of the lodge. The bike ride is special for the fact that it's a perfect combination between a nature drive where we go out and travel a bit of distance and actually try and look for other animals, but also the interpretational value of the bushwalk. So you get a chance of actually viewing animals with the bicycle because you can travel further, but also for the fact that you can stop looking at the smaller things because you're traveling at a lower speed. On the bicycle, we pose more of an animalistic feature. So we almost look like an animal walking on two legs instead of walking upright like a bipedal predator. So we actually get quite close with the bicycles to the animals. A decade on from KG's first tracks, Jerusalem beat the Black Eyed Peas and The Weeknd to win the International Song of the Year. I realized that I have passion for music back in 2011. I remember I was still in uh, high school at that time. You know, um, and I just loved music so much. So I had friends who were already producing by that time. They would invite me in their bedroom studio to see how they do it, and I would also learn from there, you know. You know, the, my first gig ever, <laughs> it was so amazing. I remember it was at my uncle's tavern in Kelly's village. I was playing there, you know. Um, I remember, you know, the love was just amazing. Everybody from my village was just turning up with me, showing me love. I, I believe in even today, you know, that moment never get lost in my mind. Uh, the song, you know, to be honest, I don't want to lie. I never thought the song would get where it is today, you know. But then there was just something about the song. We actually mastered the song so easily whereby it was ringing in our minds just after studio. So that's when I realized that this song is so catchy that you know, a lot of people will like fall in love with the melody because it was so catchy. Na 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 na, you know, na 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 na. It's so easily so, you know, so yeah, even regardless of if either they understand uh, what the song is saying or not, because the melody was just so powerful and also the beats, you know, you just move your head non stop. So. That's when I realized you know, this is something else. DJ Ngwazi has been a friend and collaborator from before KG's first album. Oh, we actually you know, met back in 2017 in a festival in Botswana. <laughs> You know, he's, he was one of the, the biggest promoters in, in Botswana. I went to pick him up from the airport. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there we became friends. And then after friends we became brothers. And we've been brothers until now, until death. <laughs> one of the highlights of meeting and continuing, uh, or maybe starting this strong 
Brotherhood was the Gaborun International Music Culture Week Festival. He also he used to uh, play for me, so because most of the time I would play, because what I do is that I perform, I also play. So I would, like play a set first, and then after that hit the stage. So when I hit the stage, you'll be the one that will hold the desk. And so you know he knows how to make people crazy. He knew what I wanted. That's one of the things that you know made us connect a lot. Yeah, I would say, you know, what I admire about him, you know, on a personal level, he's funny. You know, he always make me laugh. <laughs> and also on a professional side is that, you know, when it comes to work, he knows that, you know, it's time for work, you know, it's time to make things happen. You know, he always makes sure that we don't miss our interviews. Everything related to work is done on time. One thing that I like about him is that he's a man of his words. Also, he's about being focused and always willing to go far, 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 far. And I'm also a family man, someone who loves his family. I was born in Zanin, I think, I don't know how many kilometers, maybe 30 from here. So, you know, I'm feeling good because I'm, I'm not far from home. So even if something happens, I know that I can just go run to my grandmother. <laughs> she can give me a hug and all that. So, but anyway, I love the place. You know, one thing that I love is that, you know, it's my hometown in a way. So to see my hometown, you know, having a beautiful place like this, it's definitely something amazing, and yeah. Good. Gentlemen, so what we've got here is an active termite mound. Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of holes here. So whenever it comes to approaching a termite mound like this, where there's a bunch of holes, approach it with caution, because you never know what animal is going to be inside of it. So a lot of animals actually use it for their home. So animals like your warthogs, they'll use it. Your leopards will use it. Hyenas will use it. Wild dogs, African rock python, porcupines. So when you approach it, make sure you don't cover it right in front of the holes because the animals might actually come bursting out because you give them a fright. All those uh, animals you mentioned, they all stay here. So any just comes as they wish. As they wish. Fuzzy, KG. So here we've got a porcupine quill. Now my question to you would be, is this a defensive quill or a decorative quill? It looks defensive because it's very sharp. Yeah, it is. That's 100% correct. Also, if you're looking at the defensive, it's quite nice and thick, if you can feel that. It is incredibly strong. So this would be one of the defensive coils that they've got on their tail. Okay, so once a predator approaches a porcupine, what they'll do is they'll actually erect all of these defensive coils, make them stick out, and then reverse into the predators to try and attack them and chase them away. Oh. So contrary to popular belief, they don't shoot out their coils. If they were to shoot out their coils, that would probably be the most dangerous animal in the bush. Yeah. The point of this estate is that without elephant, buffalo, lion, or rhino, it is safe to explore. Okay, that's one. What we've got here in front of us is uh, two female giraffes. KG, you were asking whether the giraffes are actually dangerous. Yes, and they, yes. They could potentially be quite dangerous. Like if you consider the way that female was walking away, she's walking with both her right legs and both her left legs at the same time. Now, it's called a lateral step, but because of that, it's actually been known for giraffes to be able to kick in four directions. So they can kick sideways, forwards, and backwards. Oh, um, that's too much. So it doesn't matter which angle you attack them from, they can pot potentially kick you. Just to the left of the giraffe, you'll see there's a small harem of blue wildebeest, which will often associate with your giraffes for a safety aspect. What a time to be an African. You know, this is. This is one of the things that, you know, make us proud as Africans, you know. Uh, not just for us, for also the new generation to come. On the heels of Jerusalem, KG released Shine Your Light with David Guetta and featuring Akon. So the gents welcomed a little downtime. I'm feeling great, man. Uh, it's a good relaxation. Hopefully after here, I'll feel like a, like a superman. <laughs> it's important, you know, to look after my body because my body works a lot, you know, and sometimes I overuse my body. Sometimes having five performances in a day, it sometimes, you know, sounds abnormal. Oh yeah, the massage is great, you know. I haven't had a massage after a very long time and I've been traveling. 10 hours of flight for like four or five months now. So it's a great thing at the right time. 
remember the body is also the engine and the body also something that you used to work with so i think it was the right time for the body to rest and experience this atmosphere as exciting as it has been touring france the uk spain ireland switzerland austria and scandinavia home and chef boitumelo lesabas cooking was best for master kg and his friend i'll be preparing cape malay chicken curry that will go along with the naan bread basmati rice and the butternut chips and the condiments which will be our baby cucumber and red onions what makes our food unique is the infusion of two different cuisines which is the western and the african cuisine in one plate music to the men's ears and stomachs this was a beautiful day i really needed this it was quite inc- incredible and i really enjoyed it imagine walking alongside these animals around and after that nice pool to refresh my mind also after i walked No, it was just a quite nice experience. I really enjoyed it, man. Yes, you know, uh what a what a beautiful day, you know, because you know all we do is travel up and down. I don't know, man. Hey, I don't, don't want to lie about the food, man. I really enjoyed the the starter, man. <laughs> I'm yet to taste the, like I'm really enjoyed the, the starter. The starter was nice. Yeah, he's good with the food by the way. This one I When it comes to food, he's the one who will tell you which one is which one. So I always know that when I have him, I I say go first. That was until he tasted Boy to Mello's curry. Shout out to the chef by the way, you know. Uh, I am thinking of stealing her, you know. The main course is amazing, you know, because obviously rice is my favorite. So everywhere I go in the world, they know. I always tell them whatever that I'm going to eat, make sure it has rice on it. But still he remains skinny, and it seems to help him sleep off the jet lag of global travel too. One of the fans that they should learn about him that the guy can sleep man. Like I can wake him five times to go to something that cost 15 minutes and an hour man. I can sleep this guy. Oh, too much man. Oh, on a serious note, oh, on a as a businessman and as an entertainer, he's a very focused person. He's a very in- intelligent person. He's very humble. He's someone who always willing to learn more and more and more and more each and every single day. No <laughs> worry, pay him. Actually this is the person that knows me I think better than almost everyone because this is the person that I'm always with almost 24/7 365 66 you know he knows how it goes down so I believe if he say it, he knows better you know I've been receiving a lot of love you know and you know recently I just won an award uh, for VNN streaming for artist of the year and I'm still getting even more you know I'm getting more nominations and it's such a good time to be alive and Shout out to everyone you know at home for supporting everyone all over the world by the way we just keep on winning you know we just keep on breaking records you know and in yeah 400 million views on YouTube you know that's one of also you know the biggest the highlight of my career so far I used to see that on TV I used to see other people doing it so also to be on that you know that stage you know it's something else you know and I believe that there's more coming you know next time I'm going to hit a billion you know <laughs> You're going to a billion now. You're going to, before the end of the year. Just watch the space. Trust me. Mark this on your calendar. Billion before the end of the year. <laughs> okay, he said he, he said it all. So I'm just gonna say, watch out. That's all. <laughs>